Welcome to India Anime News. Our guest today is Subhatar Das. He is a co-founder of Setu and has directed a number of plays uh, for Setu, including Antha Yuk recently produced, Mahabharat, Ramayana, and what else? Kanyadan. That is admitted by one of the favorites. Most of the time, not in value. Yes, and yeah. Kamala comes in. That was your first play. Fire and Rain. But yeah, excellent. Good. So, and also this year, uh, Situ is celebrating his uh, 20th anniversary. So, in this segment, we are going to talk to him. How does he come up uh, with all these unique ideas about play? What is his intent? What he wants to convey? How he select actors and actresses? And how the production goes through? Uh, I have been one of the biggest fan of Situ. I think I have watched almost all his plays except the first Kamala. And I really uh, very much uh, uh, impressed by the energy of their actors and actresses. And um, so it really, everything comes alive. So we're going to talk how Surata creates that magic. Surata, welcome to our show. Thank you for sure. inviting me. Excellent. So let's see, start first with uh, when you touch it in history, it is mythology, it is current affairs, society, culture. Uh, you touch almost on. Right. So, how do you select that? Okay, this time, this is the theme I'm going to focus on. It's tough to to explain that way because I'm always in search for something, you know, very appealing to the audience. But one thing you have to be very sure that because Setu's play has social messages, mm. because uh, and social messages means you know because we are Setu, we are you know bridging the cultural gap. And so we want to project both, you know, the evil of the society and also good of the society. Mm. And, and in that way, uh, when I select something, I want to make sure that this has enough mm. component, okay, mm. enough of those messages. You know. And I have noticed that. I think your message is very, very clear. Right. And sometimes may not be taken very easily by a lot of people too. So right, 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 right. Yeah. So that's... Uh, one of them, then, you know, when you select a drama, it has to have dramatic elements, mm -hmm. you know, that it has to have conflict, it has to have strong characters, you know. So there are many things, uh, you know, I look at it and then, because I'm always look for it, not that I'm always looking for history, but not that I'm always looking for modern play, mm -hmm. just that, you know, I've been reading all the time. You know? mm -hmm. So, and then if something strikes my mind, I just pick it up. You know? So, okay, so you pick up a theme and then you yeah. think yeah. about that, like, casteism was a theme. Right. And I thought that that's a very, very important issue. So we must pursue this, uh, you know, in this 20th year. Mm -hmm. uh, so that is one of the things we pursued mm -hmm. in our last production in May. Mm -hmm. I, don't know if you know. I think earlier, yeah, earlier this year. Yeah. Yeah. So, so now once you have the idea and all, uh, what about the actors? I know you have a big pool of actors. Uh, so how do you select them and how, how the process works there? Yeah. You know, um, we don't, uh, you'll be surprised to know that, that we don't go through a formal, uh, auditioning process. Mm. Uh, what I, when I talk to an actor, you know, or potential actor, mm. uh, you know, what I see, what I want to see first that you have enough passion. Mm -hmm. Okay. That you have enough passion, that you really want to pursue this, not, not so much as a, as your career, but you want to pursue with, uh, with something that, that, that you want to ex you want to excel at, you know? mm. not that you know you want to go you know go on stage and, and do this and that. So the passion is the most important thing. And then uh, when I select them for specific roles, uh, and uh, there's an interesting thing that that I look at, I look at them because I I observe them. You know mm. that may be a little creepy, but I do observe them mm. while they are talking to mm. someone else. Mm. Well, that's your job. That's yeah, that's <laughs> And then I, I observe certain mannerisms and because we are not, a, we are not a professional organizations. Mm. Okay. So what happens usually is that I rely on mm. their natural mannerism a lot. So mm. I, I see that, you know, I can see that, that his mannerisms is aligned with the, what the character demands. Mm. Mm. And then obviously the rest of the things is that I can, you know, I can mold them into the character by some training. Mm -hmm. So that's what, you know, one of the, you know, one of the, one of the techniques that I follow. So I'm going to put you on this part. Yeah, I think today we have spent about a couple of hours this afternoon 
I'm sure you must have observed my manager. Do you think there is any character like I could be a good player? I'm not thinking I would do that because I find it very intimidating. Yeah, for example, if I, you know, I know that you, you may be a good actor, but I'm not. <laughs> yeah, sure. I'm not good at that. Yeah. What I'm saying is that if I if I have to cast you, mm-hmm. because for example, I wouldn't cast you as a villain here because mm-hmm. you're too substituted for that. Sure, sure. Okay. Although I come from a villain. You may be. You may, you yeah. have, you know, evolved over, mm-hmm. over the years. Mm-hmm. So I wouldn't, usually I wouldn't cast you, mm-hmm. you know, but I may, in mm-hmm. fact, if I do it, then I take that challenge mm-hmm. and I mold you into that character. Mm-hmm. So, I, so for example, again, in, in the context of selecting uh, characters, uh, what cast I think would be easily fit me, for example, like if I just put you on the spot? Like, for example, um, you know, you think of me, Kanye, you know? Yeah, the father is a you know very clean politician, you know, mm-hmm. and he's you know he pursues his 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 beliefs with conviction. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think you would fit in that role. Exactly. Well. Very good. Yeah. So now let's see. Um, now there is a young kid okay. who had no experience yeah. in uh, in acting theater, right. but very passionate about. You know, I really want to go and try this, and that young. Boy, welcome to you, and then I'm really interested. Yes. So, how how will you take that? It happens all the time, actually. Mm-hmm. So, because we have groomed many, mm-hmm. many young kids, mm-hmm. and 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 the thing is that, um, so you have to give them something so that they get excited about. It. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, first thing is that you know uh, a newcomer comes in and and they start thinking that oh, I'm on stage. What am I going to say? I said they can't say anything because you haven't been trained yet. Mm-hmm. You haven't memorized your dialogue yet, so mm-hmm. don't think about the end product. Mm-hmm. Just where you are, mm-hmm. and then we go through a process. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that process has to be very uh, because we are in a kind of amateur community environment. Mm-hmm. That process has to be very you know enjoyable process in mm-hmm. the sense that well there are some some hard work to be done like memorizing the dialogues and then you know being in the rehearsal for three four hours. Mm-hmm. But we also have a certain time left. Mm-hmm. So that we, you know, we don't think about mm-hmm. this acting, but we just socialize and, and you know, talk to each other. Mm-hmm. So that is one of the things that I always offer to an actor saying that, oh, you're coming not as a, you know, uh, there is some social component mm-hmm. in it. Okay? Mm-hmm. And, and the, the, and also I have to say that, 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 that certain things, you know, cinema has not, ha- sorry, not cinema. We will general. talk about cinema too. Yeah, <laughs> sure. Stage really uh, doesn't have acting doesn't have any defined role. But there are certain things that you must follow, mm-hmm. certain techniques mm-hmm. uh, that you must follow. So, so for example, if you are on stage, you know where do you position yourself? How do you move? You know, how do you uh, you know think about the character and how do you think about the character means you know think deeply about. So, so now let's talk about, I'm glad you mentioned about cinema. You also recently produced a brief, uh, uh, short film. Short film. Seven and, minutes. Yeah. Empty on the director. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So now, um, so if you take, you know, the theater versus cinema and the characters, how, how, the, what is the difference? The same process or is that different? You know, my, my cinema experience is very limited. I only have, uh, you know, directed a couple of short films. Mm-hmm. So it's really very limited, but I think it's a very different, uh, Different, uh, uh, very different experience. Stage is much more exciting for me mm-hmm. because you know you get one chance to go there and okay. <laughs> deliver. Yeah. Okay, so there is no. It can be very intimidating too. It, it it can be. In fact. I mean, if you go there, you just forget your uh, speech or dialogue. It can be. Has it happened? You know, it, it's surprising that many many people ask me. You know, I don't even give them a. a a, a something to fall back on, in mm. fact, because I always say that you will come out of it. Mm. So what happened? Like I go there and then I freeze. You won't. <laughs> I mean, suppose, you know, I, I forget my dialogue. Because that's why I said that, uh, you know, if you're a newcomer, okay, suppose I train you. I, I make sure that you are trained properly before you even go to the stage. Okay. You're totally memorized and you have followed all the, you know, the blockings, emotions and delivery. So you're fully prepared. Okay. But even if you, you know, Mm. You know, freeze your, you know, you need to freeze on stage. Mm. That's why what I say is that the, when you go to stage for the first time, first, you know, few dialogues, 
memorize really heavily, like road memorization, we call it. Don't think about emotions, don't think about the yes, delivery sir. style. Mm. Just go and deliver. Mm. Okay? Mm. All right. And that will you know give you an opportunity to be at ease on the stage. Mm. Mm. Okay, now let's talk also about editing. So you have all the things and then suddenly you have a rehearsal mm. and you find out that you know this part. So how how editing gets into this place? Do you edit the place after well, as we go along, yeah. I mean, um, you know, I have obviously a, a complete vision to start with, mm -hmm. and I modify along the way. That is good. Yeah. Do take make changes that absolutely. Think. I mean, the thing is, uh, I let, um, I, I give a lot of freedom to the, to the actors, so they come up with a with a lot of things. But I have to because I have got the the overall vision, and I I I kind of what we call you know I put some constraints. Mm -hmm. okay. So as long as we are within that constraint, because if you have a character, okay, I have a character, okay. Mm. I'm so you're portraying a character, I'm portraying a character, we are interacting, okay. Mm. And if you are totally out of the line, you know, that doesn't fit into in the context, you have to jump in. But I I give a lot of freedom to the actors to do their own stuff. Yeah. So so now those, you know, uh, we theater watchers, yeah. uh for us of course we know the, who the director is, right. we know who the actors are and they're of course celebrities. Right. But there are a lot of things go behind mm -hmm. what we see. So I also want you to talk about the sound, right. the people who manage the stage, how do you see Absolutely. them, their face? So how, how that process works? Yeah, we have, we have three or four very dedicated uh, people actually, like Pratik and Devin. Uh, so they do helping with light and sound. Uh, so I, in fact, explain what I, uh, what I need in terms of, you know, the, the background projection in terms of sound, in terms of light. Mm -hmm. And we discuss together. And then, for example, we have we typically have, you know, two or three stage rehearsal. Mm -hmm. And during the stage practices, we spend even a day before the stage practices just to set up the lights and, mm -hmm. and, and backdrop and the sound. And then we, you know, we go through stage rehearsal and do the final adjustments. But before that, even we are ready mm -hmm. with all the, mm -hmm. the lighting, Lighting, you know, and the and the sound and and, and the the background score, mm -hmm. and the special effects and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So now you have um, thirty years, great right. plays, right. fantastic people, and I think you know the theater has really played a very important role in theater. I, I have been so much exposed to theater thanks to theater. I mean, I was not that exposed even in India because here we just come and you want to. So it has been a great experience, and I'm sure there are many people. Uh, uh, like me in the, in the, in the community. And, uh, so what about the next 20 years? What, what, what your vision is? I mean, I mean, we'll obviously continue doing what you are doing, but I think, uh, ideally we want to take Setu to, to, uh, to up, up Broadway. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying Broadway, but up Broadway to start with. Mm -hmm. At least within the, in the next five years. And, and I very much would like to run a show for a month or so. Mm -hmm. So it would be, it would be a pro like. Mm -hmm. yeah. So already we do for a few days, right? We yeah. already do, yeah. Already do for two days. We do a few days and we also do rerun. Mm -hmm. Under you, for example, we have four shows mm -hmm. and we are going to do the rerun of Under you in December. So there will be another four shows. Okay. So we uh, anything else you are uh, planning in the future next year? Um, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we can tell that. So I think uh, one of the issues, uh, not that we want to tackle, but we want to project again, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, the issues of the social issues related to religion mm -hmm. and interreligious conflict. Mm -hmm. And we haven't done much yet. We have done casteism, we have done other things, mm -hmm. uh, classism, casteism, women empowerment. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. But we haven't done really a lot on 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 interreligious conflict, mm -hmm. which is in fact a big thing in India. Right? Yeah, it's a huge. Yeah, so it's always been there. Yeah. Okay. So I want okay. to see how to project. You know, very in a in a very neutral way. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, some of the issues, some of the underlying issues mm -hmm. that are affecting the, the the population in India. Mm -hmm. So now as we come towards the end of this interview. I have to pick your brain, uh, is about some, uh, any one of our audience who is watching, uh, this, 
uh, some acting tips. The advantage would be really, if, if I want to learn acting, you know, one of the things I should be, how should I practice, how should I prepare myself for that? I mean, you have to find a good director, actually. Mm -hmm. Okay, which is... <laughs> but I mean, you have to have a scope sure. of acting, right? Okay. You know, because you want to be part of a group, and mm -hmm. then if part of a group is there, there will be a director, mm -hmm. and then uh, work with the director. But show your... I mean, the director is not always... They are not always looking for your best skills. Mm -hmm. They are looking for your dedication, mm -hmm. you know, and and they, they can mold you, in fact, if you have enough passion. Mm -hmm. And you have to have some skills. I'm not saying that sure. you can be told totally you know, without skills, but you have to have some skills, but then it, that's what, I, in fact, I enjoy most. You know, mm -hmm. I see that someone is really passionate to do something mm -hmm. and 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 uh, they come to me and I say, okay, I'm giving you this, but I want your dedication. Mm -hmm. So, and then I spend a lot of time in preparing them and they work at home. And, and also, go ahead. Yeah, one of the things also, um, I mean, we know that we project a lot of social issues. Um, but we are also, to some extent, obliged to provide some sort of entertainment to the audience. Mm -hmm. And uh, people often uh, misunderstand, uh, you know, about what an entertainment is, it should be. Mm -hmm. Because it is not always, you know, songs and dances. Mm -hmm. It is about, you know, whether you are engaging the audience. Yeah. That is to me the yeah. most, you know, the, the most entertaining component. Mm -hmm. like, well, I've kept the audience engaged mm -hmm. for two hours, like under you, for yeah, example. Yeah. The audience were engaged. Yeah. And that is, to me, I think it is the greatest success uh, for, for being a, a stage director. Excellent. So, with that, thank you so much for your time. Well, thank you, thank really you for really inviting me. You. And uh, our rerun of Andiyo is coming in December, so don't miss that. Yeah, absolutely. And also, K2 is a non-profit organization. It's 100% uh, non-profit, fully registered, and Masters is registered, I want to say Excellent, and all the best for uh, Anthony Begin. Thank you.